Hello fellow guitar players. This is actually part two of a two-part guitar lesson. If you like to take in part one first, which I would suggest, hit the link right here. At the end of that video, you can then link back and take in the second part. For the more advanced, I'm gonna play the melody now with the added licks, and then I'm gonna break it down. explain where these licks are placed within a bar, it's in the last measure of the bar. Okay, For the most part, there's a couple of bars where we use up more space, but most of the licks are played in that last measure. My name is Jörg Salkman, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, comments and a thumbs up are always appreciated, thank you. So let me just count and play the first lick so you hear where it's going. Three, four, one, two, three. Four. On a four, we play the lick to fill that last measure with those notes. Lick one. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the melody again. It's a full bend on G5. A release, a pull off to G3. And then we go on D5. The first lick was over the first bar G. Now we go to C, lick two. Okay, it's a pretty easy one. When we hit this note, we slide to G9. And then B8. Back to G9. Back to Chi for leg three. Here we do a band on G5. Then we pick third fret B and E. So bar four still on G. Here we do the normal melody without the F. Instead we play a half band on D7, a release, a pull off to D5, up to A7, and back to D5. Now comes bar 5, back to C. We pick both the B and E. Then with our pinky and ring finger, we go on a B and G on the fifth fret, and we do a bend. And then a pull off on a G5 to G3. And then with the ring finger up to the D5. And then bar six, still on C. Again, we're not gonna play. What we do, we're going up the scale. Okay, we do the normal one. Instead of going here, we go. We do a hammer on from G5 to G7, and then slide to G9. And then we go to B8. We do a hammer on from B8 to B10, and then we do a half bend on 10. Lick seven, we're going back to G. 
We do a full bend on G5. And then pick both notes twice, the B and E. We do. Lick eight again over G. Again, we don't follow the melody exactly. Again, we leave out that F note. We go up to this point here. And then we'll do this. So I pull off from G9 to G7. And then D9, D7, and a slide to D5. Now we go to the turnaround. D, lick 9, slide with our middle finger to G14, and then G14, B13, back to G14. And a little bit of vibrato there. Lick 10 in the turn around, we'll go to C. But this time we're not going to play the old familiar. We're actually going to play it a little higher up the scale. The root note C here on the third A and root note C on the 5 G. And this is our lick. So we do the old familiar. If I would play it up here. But we're going to play it down here. Just to give it a little bit of a different sound, where we play the same notes. We'll go from G5 to G7, then we'll slide to G9. We'll go to B8 and hammer on to B10. And then we'll do a bend on B10, half bend. And while we're holding the bend, we're picking the E10, which we're holding down with our pinky. And you can do a vibrato there. So lick 11 and 12, we're gonna to combine together. We're back to G. So what we do here, instead of playing it, we play it down here. We play the G here. This is a G chord the A shape bar chord, G. Here's the root note, and we'll play the same thing, but without this note here. This is the first thing we play. We play here from the A10. We end up with that familiar lick right here on the G12. And then we're gonna continue on. We pick the G14 and we slide to G16, and then from B15 to B17, and then a little vibrato here on the E15. We do a half bend on the E17, a release and a pull off from 17 to 15, up to B17, and we'll do the same again. Half bend on a B17, a release, a pull off, and then we'll come to rest on a G16. And then back to the B15. And a vibrato there. And that concludes the whole 12 bar segment of this lesson. So, both for the beginners and the advanced players, you have something to work with. Now you know where the root notes are for the G, for the C, and the D. And you know where the scales are. And the bonus is that you also know some other positions, you know, that you can play it here. So now you can explore the fretboard. So it's really a cool way to find your way around the neck. So practice that and I hope you have a lot of fun with that. I hope you enjoy this lesson. I hope it will be part of your journey to become a lead guitar player and until next time I will see you soon. Take care.